Hey y'all, I'm Rio, and this is Coloring Passports, your ticket around the world one species at a time. Today, we're taking on the Amberjack. That was my nickname in high school. Amberjack? No, Reef Donkey. <laughs> That's because you are a donkey, Says. Your adventure starts right now. Let's do this. That's fine, okay. All right, so let's dive into this amberjack. Two amberjacks here on the page. I, I'm feeling like there's gotta be a little bit of background color in here. Um, these are very pastel-y, very shimmery fish, very, very beautiful fish. Have a characteristic stripe across from their uh, mouth through their eye onto the back of their head, down their back. Um, so, and that's pretty much, you know, and their eyes are a little bit dark. Um, so this is gonna, I think this one's gonna go pretty quickly. And then we'll finish with all the shimmering goodness here. So let's do this. All right, here we go. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so I feel like I'm gonna move my tray closer to me. I'm gonna start with this one, cool gray, 20% cool gray. And um, I'm just gonna start laying in this color all over this fish here. Pretty loosely doing this, just to kind of start showing myself where all of my shadows are gonna be. I feel like there's a line right here. I don't know if it's showing up on the thing, but this part of the fish right here is gonna be a little bit darker. It's gonna go all the way back. Okay, so far it's looking just like the page is dirty. That's what it's looking like. It's looking like the page is just dirty. It's okay, we're gonna make it work. Got a little bit of gray action going on in here. Okay, so, hmm. And we come in behind the gill plate with the same exact color, this cool gray, and start laying a little bit of a shadow in there. Now, on the bottom part of this fish, it should be a little bit darker. So you want it to kind of go around the fish and then the folds in his mouth down here under his chin. I'm gonna start adding a little bit of shadow to that. I saw that waggy butt. Okay, now let's start working our way into darker grays. So this is 50% cool gray. That was the 20% cool gray. So what is this? 30% cool gray. Mm, okay, so we'll, we'll do a little bit of that. Yeah. We'll do a little bit of that up here on the top of his back because this is gonna be a darker color. It's actually kind of a um, bluish greeny color. Um, this really paints gray with a little bit of green gold in it, but we can't do that with the colored pencils. I'm limited, I'm limited by the colored pencils to stay in the zone. I'm gonna take this 30% cool gray and I'm gonna pull right through his face. Look at that, he's already coming to life. All right, 
I'm gonna sharpen this really quickly. Again, General's sharpener. I bought this at um, Michael's. I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can pick one of these up. And who knows, by the time this comes out, we might actually just have them on our website because uh, that would just be super, super easy. I love this pencil sharpener. It's so good. So good. Okay. All right. So we're just going to work our way through the cool brace. You know, I don't like calling them cool. I don't think we've used the metallic ones yet. So I have a gold and I have a silver Prismacolor metallic. -y. Oh, and a bronze. I don't know if that bronze is metallic, though the barrel's not metallic. We'll have to test it out. I just don't know. Okay, so 30% cool gray back here on this one. Just on that ridge. Just slightly on the ridge. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start laying in the stripe on his face with this. And again, we'll come back in in a moment and rework all of this and get it the way we want it. I have a fresh cup of coffee sitting over here and uh, I put some eggnog in it and I'm super excited about trying that out. Just letting y'all know that it smells delicious. Okay, so this fish in the front, the color is going to be a little more intense, a little more vivid because he's forward, um, and that's how we're gonna we're gonna put the, some um, atmosphere between the front fish and the back fish that way. So even though I'm using these same colors right now, oh no, I feel like that's gonna break. Let's see how much of that we can get used before it does break. I'm gonna come down here on his anal fin and just put a little bit of the darkness in there. A little bit of a ridge right there on him. I'm gonna come down here with a little bit of that ridge as well. There we go, there we go. has a glue in there, so weird. Okay, so that's the 30. Now we're gonna go to 50. And I'm gonna just kind of go in the center. I'm gonna leave some edging around this stripe. I'm gonna start working the stripe this is where the majority of the color is going to be on this fish. So we have this, then that's that. Then this is actually the color around the eyeball. So we're going to kind of start to lay that in there. Then right through the center. And as it gets closer to his face or to his mouth, the color is a little bit lighter. Oh, that stuck to my arm and fell on the floor. It's all right, it's time for a sip of coffee anyway. Mm. 
Mm. Wow. Jamaican me crazy. Coffee. Plus coconut coffee brewed together. With a splash of eggnog. Yup, that'll work. Oh, that was the, I dropped the blue on the, on the floor. That blue actually needs to be up here in his face. Okay, so I'm gonna come back here, up on his back, and just right on the edge. Let's start laying in some more of this darker color here. These guys are just so beautiful. I'm also gonna add a little bit of the shading inside of his mouth. Now, I drew some of this for you, kind of cartoony, so that he didn't have to work as hard at it. Okay, so we're gonna put that down and that down. I'm gonna get down here and pick up the pencil that I threw in the floor accidentally because I do need that right now. This is indigo blue so we're gonna see if this starts to give us some shade that we need oh yeah 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 yeah. that's beautiful yeah now I'm barely barely touching this don't get crazy with it because you're not gonna be happy if you do I'm gonna go slightly around the eyeball not all the way around the eyeball just in some areas we don't want to make the eyeball look like a bullseye. Coming down the face here just a little bit. Now, that might be a little much, but I'm going to go in with some of the some of the colors anyway. Now, it appears to me that I can probably pull just a teeny tiny baby amount of that down here and maybe just a little bit here where his anal fin anchors onto his body. Okay? So we're gonna come over here and do just a tiny touch there too. And hmm. Man, it's really hard to color light. Some of these, these colors are super saturated. These Prismacolor pencils are super saturated. Super saturated. What's the next dark color? We got this one. Which one is this? This is indigo blue. Let's see if that helps. What does this one do? Oh, yep, that's kind of like blue jean color. Okay, I can I can kind of get behind that. There we go. I'm gonna put a little bit of that right here. Oh yeah, that's, that's kind of nice. Green ochre. Right over the top of all of that. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Actually, that's really nice. That's really nice. Okay, so then we'll come over the top of it right here. So you've got the gray, you've got the two blues, and now we're just coloring right over the top of that. And see the green is really showing up where we left the blue out. And that's what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. I'm gonna come over here and do a little bit of work on the eyeball. The eyeball. Okay. So, I know, artichoke, mm. So, 
on his mouth, back here on his face. We got a little bit of this artichoke action going on back here. Just a touch. Now, this part, he's more of a blue-gray. So, I'm gonna grab a little bit of, I think this is what I want. This is the periwinkle. Yep, that'll do. Okay, so I'm gonna take this periwinkle all the way down his face, super, super light. And then back here in this section, I'm just gonna darken it up a little bit. I'm also gonna cross it over into that stripe on his face a little. Wow, this is gonna be a really pretty fish. <laughs> Woo! Maybe I'll add some periwinkle to his stripe. You always gotta start super, super, super light. His mouth has a little bit of the periwinkle, but his mouth also has the gray. So, like that. That's the 50% cool gray coming around the corner there. Of his mouth. And then as I'm coming back around his mouth here, just kind of breaking that up a little bit. Okay, so his fins have a little bit of a purpley pink mauve. So I'm gonna grab clay rose and see if this reads. Oh yeah, that'll work. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna add some of that into the fish too. Now, I, I've never held one of these guys or seen one up close. But I would imagine that they're quite interference and metallic -y and all the colors of the rainbow. And so that's how we're going to color this. So I'm going to come up here on his cheek and add some of that here. I'm going to barely come in here and start adding some of that on the dorsal fin of the back one.
keep working here. Let's keep working here. Let's just get it handled. So, all right, a little bit of lavender. And this is grayed lavender. Gonna add some of that on the face. Gonna add a little bit of that back here on his, as we get closer to where his gill plate opens. Okay, I'm gonna put it a little bit underneath. And I'm just gonna really kind of lay in this color all over the rest of his face. Just so that I can start to see where we're at with it. A little bit on his lip, because his lip would have a little bit of color on there. Mm-hmm. Gonna put a little bit of it in the shadow color there. Wow. Oops, sorry, kicking the door. Okay, so. What do we got going on? We're still filming. Sometimes I think that the higher value, the more pastel ones that we have in the book are harder to pull off than the um, other ones. Let's see here, this is 70% cool gray. Oh wow, that's really strong. Okay, so. Barely, barely touching this, and I'm just making a mess. I'm gonna put that cool gray down because I don't think it's time for that one yet. Okay, I'm gonna get into this peach beige. I'm gonna start. Uh, and a little bit of that right up against his back color here. And a little bit of it onto his face. See how that kind of works? And I just want to go over what I've put on his back there already. Just slightly with that. Now look how nice that's starting to become now. This feels, this part of his face here on top, right between his eyes, feels like it's no longer attached to the fish. So I'm gonna come up here and warm this up, which I know that's not a color. I'm gonna just use this peach beige over his um, dorsal fin. And see that anchored that to the fish. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna use this just a little bit on the side of his face, right over that blue. We're gonna let a little bit of that blue not get touched. Then I'm gonna come in here just slightly and start working on his eyeball. Look at that, that already starts to just pull it all together. Oh my goodness. Now, his pectoral fin needs a little love. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier, same color. All the way down into the 20% cool gray. We're just gonna kind of feather that down into there. That's really nice. I'm just gonna blend that in just a touch. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of that up in here. Now we know that there's gonna be some of this lavender gray. I 
on this pectoral fin as well. That's so pretty. It's just so pretty. And then we're gonna put a little tiny bit of this periwinkle right down here on this curve and just kind of blend that out. And then we're gonna bring some of that periwinkle and I'm just doing tiny little circular motions here. because I don't want it to be so abrupt. Now, I want the shadow there. It should have a shadow there. So. This is that periwinkle, y'all. It's a really pretty color. Gonna add just a tiny amount of the periwinkle up here. And a little bit right here on this line and just barely blending it up. Then I'm gonna come over this with a little bit more of that periwinkle. Cause that whole line there is gonna have to stand out eventually. I mean it's gonna have Parma Violet. That's beautiful. Okay, so I'm feeling like I'm gonna put some more color on this fish. Peach, let's try peach. What does the peach look like? What? So I'm not sure that really did anything, but like I'm feeling like there is a stripey <clears throat> on this fish, like in this general vicinity here, that kind of goes down his body like this. I feel like I'm painting the rainbow here. I don't even know if this is gonna be okay. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna come over here with this peachy color and start to kind of play with this fish just a touch here and see what we can come up with. And I'm gonna add some of this to the pectoral fin. And I just feel like this right here is like literally a stripe from the eye of this fish. Like, like that. Look at that, okay, look at that. Yep, that's not terrible, okay. We're starting back again with the, mm, I think I can live with it. So I'm coming in with the peach, I'm in peach. I'm just doing the peach here and I'm just trying to kind of define this stripe it kind of goes down this fish's body. Okay, let's grab, what color is this? Ooh, 90% cool gray. This is gonna be the closest thing to Payne's gray that we have in this whole groupie here. So let's just see what we can come up with, with this. Because the tail has some of this dark color, but it's really more to the blue. Just gonna start kind of laying that in there. Very carefully, I always get very nervous when I'm using these super dark colors because you cannot, with the acrylics, if I put it on too dark, I can just paint right over it. No big deal. Well, unless the paint is super transparent and then that's a whole host of problems. But with these, I have to treat this like watercolor and like it's all transparent and it makes me very nervous. I get very nervy. I get very, very nervy, y'all. Okay, so I feel like that is his fins tucked up under his belly. We're just gonna kinda just define those a touch here. Okay, this, I'm gonna give him a little bit of this on the edges here. 
And you want to be careful that you don't just outline him. Well, you know, unless you want, unless you're going for that look. I'm kind of looking at a reference photo at this point. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I see you. Okay. Oh wow, okay, that was an accident, but that worked. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh wow, that color's pretty. Pretty intense without anything else on it. Okay, so this kind of comes in there like this. So we've got all of this to kind of consider here. is truly like outlined. Oh wow, that's starting to look good. Okay, I'm starting to get happy. Okay, mm -hmm. I, th we might pull this off. This might not suck. Y'all don't get discouraged about this. You see how much I struggle. So. Gonna add a little bit of this gray here. We're also gonna come in with, hmm, I need like a berry color. What is this? Henna. Hmm. Okay. That might not be terrible. Let me test it out up here on his face. Okay, that's that's not awful. Let me give it a little bit of henna down here. I don't feel like that's the actual color of a henna tattoo. I'm gonna set that one there because I am not sure I'm sold on that. I just I'm not sure. Like, I really just want to grab the hot pink and just pank this out, but it's not gonna happen. And y'all know what I start to get. wound up here okay so this is the 30 percent warm gray i want color on the tail just a touch we're not really defining anything yet i'm going to start to go over the, the darker gray that I put in here initially.
these eyeballs. Woo! Okay, like I, <sighs> y'all, that, look at, mm, oh yeah, that's, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Okay, so Chase says, say says, that they're more in the yellowy. Okay, so this one has been caught and the color has faded. So I am now looking through all of my possible reference photos and I'm going to start darkening these babies up just a touch here because it appears that they are darker indeed. Oh, wait. I'm gonna add, this is Sienna Brown. I'm just gonna kinda come in and start laying some of this, this stripe here, right through here. See, it's starting to it's starting to take shape. I'm super, super happy with it. Look at all the colors that end up getting used, even though the fish is light colored. Okay, 30%. Do you need to go outside, Papa? Do you need to go outside? Puppy. Okay, cool gray. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna come over here and just start adding a few marks on the face in the cool this is the 70 percent cool gray don't get me started mouth just a touch coming back inside of his mouth here just darkening that up just a bit and I'll come in with some pink over the top of that probably actually some of the lavender so that that is definitely identifiable as being inside of his mouth because his palette is going to be a little more pink but the lavender is going to show up better so see how that looks there. That's good. And then I'm gonna put some of this lavender here in just a few spaces on his face, just because it's pretty. And I can imagine that it would be there. Wowza, wowza. Let's see, this ochre or this bronze, I'm, I'm kind of interested in what this bronze looks like here. Ooh, girl. Okay, so that might be it. That might not be terrible. So I'm, I'm really trying to get the shape of this down. So I'm using the bronze. I'm interested, is that metallic -y? No, I can't tell. I can't see anymore. I need, I think I need new contacts, y'all. Gonna come in here with the tail color with this bronze. Oh, yep, that's gonna work. That's gonna do it. I'm just lightly shading in the tail in the direction that the tail would lay. 
Oh, yep, that's doing it. color there so let's grab this cream color I'll put that in right there we're just gonna kind of start marking all over this here we can kind of come over all of this with the cream color and just see if that's gonna work I'm starting to kind of get these colors to meld together now with this cream color. Ooh, it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the tail now with the cream color. And I know there's more work to be done to the tail. That's okay, I can, I can look at that. It's gotta be darkened, it's got, you know, Got some other colors that need to be added to it, but for right now, it's not bad, it's not terrible. I'm gonna come over here with the cream color on this tail. I'm gonna go over all of this really quickly with the same cream color. sharpen. So I just want to just lightly go over. Start to fill that in. And obviously I'm going to have to darken up a lot of these areas that I've been very careful to not oversaturate to this point. Gonna add the cream up in the dorsal fin. Oh, I like the color of that a lot. Yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this sienna brown, and come over here and start popping this pectoral fin out where it needs to be. I'm gonna pull it right over that purple. I'm gonna draw some lines. Oh yeah, look at that, bam, there it is. Okay, okay. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're just gonna do it lighter. Like the the fins are dark on these guys, so right now we're we're in the light zone. So we're gonna start darkening these up. I really feel like I want to put like a blue streak in here. Don't do the indigo blue, it doesn't, it doesn't look nice. Which one is this? Cool gray.
going to kind of go over some of this, some of these edges of the fin with this 90% cool gray. Very lightly. I'm, I'm not, I'm going to do it much darker on this fish here because this fish is more forward. So, um, I want to keep working the fish. However, I think I want to start adding some color in the background. So it makes me nervy because I just don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so maybe we'll pick up the aquamarine. And I'm, I'm going aquamarine because the fish has the reds in it. So, and the umbers and the ochres and so the the turquoisey green is going to be a complement to that so instead of going blue I'm going green so let's just see if that helps to start to do anything for this illustration, I don't even know. Y'all know that I kind of like to try to, to, this is where I practice things, this is where I like try new things. And so, <clears throat> part of me wants to make this totally a graphic design and just like draw lines through it, color the line, have the fish be there and then some of it out of side the line, some of it inside the line. Hmm. So if it went like this and then like that, that would actually be kind of cool, right? This is also where we look back at what have we done. Well, you know, I'm always going to vote for that. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, those fish are so gorgeous. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not real big on backgrounds because I want to see the fish. I don't want to focus on the background. I want to see the fish. So let's just keep adding some of this in here and just kind of see where we go from there. Because this fish is coming up and over. And you know, when I paint my water, it's with completely fluid paint. So this feels very confining here, I'm trying to get this in and done and laid out. Hmm. 
Make sure you have your kneadable eraser available. In case you do something you're just not exactly excited about, you can get in there and actually, you know, the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser will take this off of there too. I don't know if I have shared that tidbit. I'm feeling like I kind of want to play with the idea of this being like a little more graphic-y design-wise. These guys don't really come out of the water, so that's not what we're trying to portray. I'm just sort of trying to anchor them into the painting. What? Look at that. And then I really feel like, ooh, that was a little, and that was a little intense there, Rio. That was a little much. Back that off. Okay, so let's curl this just a skosh here. The the pointier your pencil is, the more control you have because you can color on the side. And I just feel like you can control how much pigment you put down better from the side profile than from any other way. I don't know. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's poop. I don't really know. We'll just have to see here. Okay. Maybe it's not terrible. Okay, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. So his face is kind of coming out. Tiny little baby tiny circles. Tiny little baby tiny circles. Even though we're on the edge of the, of the pencil instead of on the tip of the pencil, still tiny baby teeny tiny baby circles because I don't really like the way this looks here. I'm going to have to blend that out. Even though I know I have a sneaking suspicion that once I start laying down all of the uh, once I start laying down all of the uh, color I'm probably still going to um, I'm probably going to end up making the water metallic-y too because I just Love me some metallic paint here. I just can't help it. It's just beautiful. You know you love the metallic paint. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. This isn't very well thought out, but at the same time, I, I want to be very clear. I am not trying to make these perfect. I am simply exploring concepts that I would maybe do on a painting with this. So, you know, this is kind of the, this is the best way to work out a concept, in my opinion. because it allows you to actually see it without the pressure of the painting having to be perfect or sellable or, you know, worthy of going on the fridge. This is just practice. You have to keep in mind every time you do one of these that you're just practicing. That's what you're doing. It's practice. Hmm. Okay, so I do kind of like that. However, 
I'm not a fan of all this going on over here. So I kind of like that and I kind of like this not being complete over here. I don't like this hard line here. I, like, I think I want the fish to come more forward and I don't like how high this has gone over here. Now I'm not gonna be able to get all of this off of here, um, which is fine, it's not a big deal. I just, you know. Again, with all these tutorials, we keep it real with you. Need a bull eraser, you know you need one of these. So. Just bringing, taking some of this out. I don't even know what the right answer is for this, but I don't like all of this in here. I do like how it kind of follows the, the flow of, of the fish here, but I don't like this up here. And I definitely should have left this part white. I think I would have been happier with that. So we're gonna try to remove as much of this as I possibly can. I actually feel like I want some more of this up here, just white. Okay, that's not terrible. Let's see, let's get into this. Let's get into this a little bit more here. Let's see what we can get into here. Gonna put a little bit of that in his mouth. That instantly kind of anchors this fish to the picture itself. little bit of this up over. Because again, if I was painting this, I would actually make some of the a tiny, just a tiny bristle hairs worth of the um, watercolor into the tail of the fish so that it started to push that tail back. So I can't do that with the colored pencils, but what I can do is barely drag that color over the top. Kind of set it down up in there. And then just by going over his dorsal fin just a touch, that also sets that down. And we're gonna pull a little bit of this down here. That also sets it down a little bit because this fish is coming in front. I don't want this fish to be the first thing you see. And I'm just gonna keep layering and layering and layering Makala until we get to a point where I'm like, okay, I think I feel brave enough now to take the fish back on. contemplating outlining this fish in something other than white. I love white though. You know, I, I love my white. I love my, my um, crisp cleanness of the white outlining it, almost like a sticker. Almost like if you had gotten a sticker of the fish. Okay, see I'm pulling some more of this into the tail color here. I really feel like I kind of wish I would not have. Now, 
even though I'm coloring the tail, I still feel like I want some a little bit less of that blue going on here. Like some of it I want to be unadulterated here, just like completely free of that. What color is this? Aquamarine. I can tell you right now. That is not the color of aquamarine. But that's what it's called. All right. Here we go. Now, let's go back to uh, powder blue. Powder blues in the house. Here we go. We're coming in here with lots of tiny little circles. We're gonna come over here with some powder blue. We're gonna come over here and just blanket this area with powder blue. 
and then I'm gonna build upon that some other colors. I'm gonna do a little powder blue on his back. That area right there, I'm gonna go a little harder because that area right there doesn't feel right to me. Anyway. So we've got a little bit of blue. Ooh, that's nice. Oh yeah, that, that's good. That just defined that area of his tail really nicely. Really nice. So we're going to come at a different angle up underneath his belly here, kind of widely. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Looks pretty good. What do you think, really? I think mean, it looks pretty good for you. I'm back into the clay rose. Really, Chase? Thank you. 
Yas Queen Yas. Yas Yas. Look, 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 look. Perfect. It looks good. It's good. It's good. Okay, so let's get into it a little deeper, shall we? Hmm. Burnt ochre. No idea what this is. Don't even know where my piece is to be able to test the colors. Where's my paintbrush? Ugh. Okay, well, I'm just gonna dip into this. We're gonna start a new paintbrush here. Hmm. So, let's see here. I feel like I'm seeing this color on this fish. You know that the metallic covers up a whole host of problem areas. to that brush.
Hmm. Okay, so now let's get into some of this. Yes, please. That'll that'll be doing some beautiful things there. So then, let's. Wow, we're gonna go straight into this orange right here, even though this is like terrifyingly brilliant. Oh wow! Look at that. Oh my goodness. Y'all, wow. Wow. I'm just trying to lay it in, just barely laying this in. I'm just gonna kind of streak it in there a little bit. Because impressionistically is good. Okay, then I want to come into the blue interference. Because that blue interference on the black is going to be spectacular. Watch. Holy cow, look at that. How good that looks. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put a little bit of here. Some of the silver. Okay, so the face cheeky is gonna pop there. We're gonna pop this little area here. We're gonna make this area right here pop up too. Going into the silver. Wow. Wow. What? Oh my goodness. What? So we're gonna add a few like little just little streakies here. Taking a little bit of creative liberty. Let's get into the interference gold. Just kind of lay in some color. I don't know. 
I don't know if I like it. A little bit of blue here. I just like the little strikies of gold. Let's get a little more of this here. Maybe a little bit of this with it. Gold. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, so I put a little bit of that purple in there too. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna come in here and what? This water. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Man, every time I get nervous about this metallic paint, I just think to myself, girl, you just need to be quiet because this metallic paint is all that and a bag of chips. And I'm talking about a bag of chips that you can eat the whole dang bag and not gain any weight. That bag of chips. I mean, that's like the best bag of chips on the planet. Not too salty, not too sweet, zero carbs. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, my goodness, look at this. Goodness, look at this. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. That's 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 gonna do it. That's just gonna be spectacular. Just got a little bit of love here. A little bit back here. Oh my goodness. I am super happy with that. Then we're gonna go around it with a Posca pin. Oh my lord, what? Wowza. Oh, it just gets better. So I'm gonna add a little bit of it down back in here. Mm, no, change my mind. Don't want that. Add a little bit of it up in here. Right over that water, uh, why, sorry y'all. Right over.
Okay, now, what do I wanna do? Well, I wanna do a victory lap, but that's not happening yet. I sort of went out of order with this because I got excited. Now I'm gonna outline this. with the Posca pen, and this is emerald green. So I kind of already went around it pretty thick with the marker, or with the uh, colored pencil, just to kind of get an idea of whether I was gonna like it or not. I love that. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. This is way better than just painting to paint things on the wall to put, you know, uh, up in a booth to try to sell it in art show. This is so much fun. I'm gonna come back in here with a little bit of this um, powder blue. Gonna kinda go over this a little bit. Probably should be some interference in here. Gotta make the tail darker. Yas. Um. Here it is. This is that um, cool gray 90. I'm gonna be careful. Here's what I've learned with the, the pencils. They don't like to stick to the, to the um, watercolor. So, but what I did was I went in with that with a little bit of that purple metallic and now I'm kind of coloring over some of it. And it's working. Well, this guy's a little further away. So I don't want this so dark, but I do want his tail a little bit nicer than what it is right now. Not overly happy with the way this looks, but I also don't want to overdo it to a, to a point where you guys cannot Imagine yourself being able to do this. Everybody starts at a different level. And there's no competition other than with yourself. You're competing with yourself to see if you can do better than the last time you, you did one. What? Oh yeah, okay, so a little bit of that on the edge of the thing. Yeah, and then, you know, I'm, I'm having a little creative liberty here, so. Blue slate. So this is a little bit darker. I'm 
So then I'm gonna pick up 70 for 70 cool gray and see if I can shadow this a little bit more. You know, we just got a little, we got some things happening here, just some things. Oh, that's a nice color. That's a cool 20% cool gray going in over here on this fish. Yeah, yeah, that's working. It's working rather nicely. Let's get his lips colored, his face colored, his cheeks colored. Go over that yellow a little bit. Oh yeah, that's quite lovely. Here's what I'm learning. I'm not sure I'm excited about having more than one fish per scene. There's seriously a learning curve with these colored pencils. Okay. And you guys know that if you want to follow along with these tutorials and you don't have a book yet, you can go to paintingpassports.com and pick up a book for yourself and we'll get it out to you. Um, there's a link in the description below. white straight up white I don't like that fin that fin needs some lavender in it fin's not really very developed there's that now let's put some of this There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, face also needs to be darker. I mean, I get that he's further away, but his face has to be darker. Because it would be. Ripe in there the way that it should be. A little more defined. Wow, I just gave him a mustache. Do yourself a favor and don't do that. Just quickly go over this with the lavender gray and hope that it covers up a whole host of things that I just just should not have done. Just gave the fish a mustache. See? Even though I don't know what I'm doing half the time. So don't be hard on yourself. You've got this. Hmm. Oh, I like the blue. That's the cloud blue. Y'all know I use this one a lot. Cloud blue gives a really nice overtone color. See, I'm gonna go back just on the back of that fish a little bit. Put that in there.
All right, well that's a wrap on the Amberjack. If you don't have a copy of the book already, there's a link in the description below. Run over to the website and get yourself one. I'm Rio. This has been Coloring Passports. I'll see you on the next page. Bam!